Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're playing Margako in Heaven 2, and as you can see, we are on Adasha's route. We're continuing exactly where we left off last time. Um, hopefully the background music isn't too soft. It's just coming through my headphones, it's really loud, so I turned it down a little more than I did last time. This particular song is just always really loud. It's like it's not balanced with the rest of the game. And it's it's kind of obnoxious because it's the love love scene music, but it's super loud and kind of drowns out the scene and it almost ruins the moment a bit. So hopefully it's at a decent level and we'll see. So this is the same line that we ended on last time. In fact, I'm just recording immediately again afterward. So he's saying that's not all. He didn't come back just for Maro. It's because of the message you left. And that's the messages that Yuki was talking about leaving on his phone. When I heard about the diving meet, I couldn't sit still. Does that mean you wanted to participate too? That's not it. It was because of you. Me. Me. You said, on the you said on the phone that you would be first up to dive. When you climbed up to the diving board before, it was impossible for you to dive. Your legs were shaking. Oh. I wondered if you were okay. I was worried. <laughs> so well, now that you mention it, because remember, when Yuki got up there, he was afraid and his legs were shaking. Still, you simply jumped. It wasn't simple. Actually, I was scared until right before I jumped. Even though I practiced because I knew how much it hurt when I messed up, I was really nervous. But I wanted to change. You? What did you want to change? There's nothing about you that needs to change. So interesting little bit of honesty and perspective from Arata, who is surprised by this. You get that honest response from him that he doesn't think Yuki needs to change anything about himself. There's lots. All I could do is think about wanting you to come back. I didn't want to stay like that with nothing about me changing. Yuki. Telling your own feelings to someone else requires a lot of courage, doesn't it? And the truer your feelings are, the more courage it takes. But the power to try communicating your thoughts gets that much stronger and bigger. And it's possible that you can start to make something happen. That's what I thought. So, well, I desperately... Ugh. Why are you suddenly holding your head? Uh, no, um... Now that I think about it, I did something incredible. So here it is. I said I have someone I love at this school. In front of the whole school. Yes, it took him this long to realize what he said. In front of the swim club members, in Kuya-san, in Takuto-san. In front of the whole crowd that was watching, I said I love them and I'll protect them. I'm so embarrassed. Yes, this is a massively delayed reaction. That's how Yuki's brain works or doesn't work. 
He is really impulsive. He will just say anything. He has absolutely no filter in his brain whatsoever to keep whatever from coming out of his mouth. Which is good and bad. This is going to cause Arata-san trouble, too. I mean, obviously putting two and two together, seeing the person he was clinging to so desperately immediately after the event. Well, yeah, obviously this is the guy he loves. Oh. Oh. Before, when I hugged Arata-san, I have a feeling he said something like, he loves me too. Yuki? I wonder if I misunderstood that. I don't... Um, could it be... What? What Before, when I hugged you, I felt like I heard you say something. Um... Arata-san, do you love me? Do you love me? I was hoping a little, though. After all, I guess it was my mistake. So because Arata doesn't respond right away, you know, Yuki misunderstands. Na Sono what is it? That huge date. But... Date nanda. Orega Yuki o suki ninatta ra no ka? But what? Does it bother you that I've fallen in love with you? Uh, ima... Nante. Huh? What did you just say? So yeah, Yuki mistakes the hesitation for denial, and then Arata mistakes Yuki's sigh for him being annoyed that he's in love with him, and it's just a mess, but... Anyway. I didn't think I would feel like this. See, even though I just told you about the man I first love until just recently, so you know, it's like it's too soon for him to have another love, another feeling for somebody because, you know, he was still clinging to that love after all those years. That's why he kept diving and all that horrible, pathetic, sad stuff. <laughs> Don't you think it's asking too much? Even I think so. So yeah, it is kind of too much to ask Arata to attach his affection to someone different now. Because he's he's really... You know, he clung to that love for so long. It's like, how can he be expected to get over it that quickly? And that's really part of why he had to leave the school, too. Because all those feelings needed to be sorted out. It's not simple to untangle the mess of emotions from years ago. But still, I couldn't help it. And here again, he's slipping into the Kansai accent, which I am not going to attempt to imitate. Hearing your voice calling me every day like that. And on top of that, when you even show up in my dreams... And, um, well, when you jumped from the diving board, you were so cool. Oh, after all, just forget I said that. I'm telling you, just ignore that. Um, please wait a bit. I don't care that you loved someone else until up until yesterday. What? <laughs> Still, if you love me today, I don't care. Well, the person I love is in love with me. So, yeah, he's like, I don't care who you loved up until now. If you love me now, that's good enough. And that's, that's really a very simplistic and yuki way of thinking. He really is just a simple puppy, you know? You, you show him affection, he's going to reflect it back at you. Yuki. 
Arata san. I love you, Arata san. Ore no koibito ni natte kuremasu ka? Will you be my lover? And in this case, you know, lover doesn't necessarily mean physical, sexual relationship lover. It's it gets kind of applied to the boyfriend, girlfriend sort of meaning as well. So it's uh it's kind of complicated. It's it's hard to translate that exactly as well. But it's definitely uh definitely a romantic element. <clears throat> yeah. Yokata. Thank goodness. <clears throat> His eyes are closed. That means it's okay, doesn't it? Of course it's okay. And kissing. Let's take a look at kissing. So right here at the pool, uh, fortunately for them, there's no one else around so they can kiss without being interrupted or stared at. Hmm, he pulled away? No, I want to do this more. <laughs> Is Arashasan trembling? It's completely different from when we kissed before. Remember, way back when Arata kissed him at the pool and Yuki pulled away because of the sense of it being wrong and not a real kiss. And that's when Arata said, you can kiss just anybody. And Yuki was just dwelling on that and dwelling on that and being like, no, that's wrong. You can't just kiss anybody. That's terrible. Why, why would someone feel that way? I don't want people to feel that way. I couldn't feel that way. So... Um, I think it's even the same pose for this kiss, actually. It's kind of the same CG redrawn, you know, budget considerations and whatnot. I'm sorry, I'm ruining the moment. I'll stop. So, it's completely different from when we kissed before. Back then, he kissed me and seemed incredibly relaxed. I was the one who was frozen, but now... Now Arata-san's the one who's tensed up. I don't want to pull away. <laughs> I never want to pull away from this person. I want to hold him tightly like this from now on and forever. <laughs> he melted. Not physically. This is not sweet fool. He's loosened up. This time, Arashasan's kissing me. So he's, I guess, was just stunned by that. And now he's kind of chilled out. Arata-san, I love you, I love you, I love you. I never want to let you go again. Never again. Arata-san. <laughs> it's never been like this. Was it no good? I mean, keep in mind, Yuki really doesn't have any experience with anything. It wasn't like this. I thought a kiss was no big deal. This is weird. And throughout this entire section here, he's speaking with that Kansai accent. That's right. What? What are you laughing at? I was thinking this is completely different from when we kissed before, too. Before it was sudden and I was just surprised. That's how I felt. But now I'm really happy. I felt like our feelings were exchanged through our lips. And that's something that comes up a lot in this game and also in the supplemental materials. The whole, like, exchanging of feelings or our feelings were connected. Um, it's kind of like a convention for romantic-y stuff. <laughs> we felt the same thing. The same. The same. It was the same. 
It makes you really happy, doesn't it? それは、まあ、well, I guess. And it's, it's really cute that Arata's shyness comes out here because he, he does project that image of being so bold and just talking to anybody and being silly and, and acting weird and, and having you know, no inhibitions, but he's not actually like that. Arata sounds all red. I wonder if he'd get mad if I said I wanted to do more. So, na. Jitto miru na. Don't stare at me like that. Ana. Mo ikai. Um, one more time? Kawa? Remember me? No. Oh. Nahanda yo, Maro. Ii tokoro de. What? Maro, right at the good part. Zitto hotto ita kara. Taikutsu shita n daro. He was left alone the whole time, so he got bored. Arata was saved by Mato, isn't that great? Jeez, right at the good part. He heard me. Um. Okay, so here's a kind of weird decision. We, we get to choose either the first one is to move Mato out of the way, or just stay the way you are. And this doesn't affect anything, but it changes the CG later. Um, with, with Yuki and Arata, if, and just determines if Mato will be present in the picture or not. So we're gonna let Mato stay. Oh well. Yuki. Huh? It's Mato. He's not really in the way, so is it okay? Yuki. Mato approves of being allowed to stay. Wait, Yuki. It's okay. It's okay, isn't it, to continue from before? Well, yeah. If you say so. You're freezing. Oh, it's because I only wiped off quickly, but I'm wearing the track jacket. But the jacket itself is pretty wet, too. Let's go take a shower first. So yeah, after being in the pool and then just throwing his clothes on over it without really drying off, of course he'd be freezing after all this time. Huh? And then, of course, Yuki's hungry. Uh, Just now, was that the sound of your stomach? Yes. Anyway, let's make it a shower and food. <laughs> You're right. So, that ends this scene, and you're like, damn it, Mato, why'd you have to interrupt? But... It's, it's all for a good cause, and uh, I do like that you get the option to choose if Mato's going to hang around or not. Uh, I would feel kind of bad being like, no, Mato, you, you get the heck out of here. You know, we don't want you here. Like, that's, that's just rude. After all the uh, stuff that Arata just said about being worried about him, bringing him back to school so he could be happy, you're going to chase him out? Poor little fairy. He doesn't understand. He just wants to hang around his owner and this other person that his owner likes, so he likes him too. And maybe even if his owner stopped liking him, he would still like him because Maro's a ferret and he's kind of stupid. He doesn't get it. Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, kind of weird with the conversation there. Like, it's it's a little bit of awkward conversation. I think it's because Arata is just so embarrassed and, and Yuki's really kind of feeling his way through this for the first time, too. He, he wants to, to kiss Arata, but um, he doesn't really know what he's doing, so... Um, they're, they're both a little shy in their own way. And, um, yeah, but the, the real difference, you know, when that, that guy, whatever his name is, jerk face, was kissing Arata. And then later on, um, the upperclassman in middle school who was pressuring him into sex. And then whoever else Arata may have kissed since then, you know, it's just the... The physical aspects of the kissing and stuff like that, which has led him to say, "Yeah, you can kiss anyone. It just—it's just pressing your lips together. It—it it just feels good. Whatever." 
And now he is getting a kiss from someone who really cares about him with a lot of emotion. And that emotion and enthusiasm more than makes up for Yuki's lack of experience. Because, yeah, you you can tell when someone really cares about you. It, it makes a huge difference in how you interact with that person and how you feel about everything that happens with them. You know, if someone's a, a jerk and they want to kiss you, that's not going to be great. And it's, it's kind of sad that up until now, all of Arata's experience has been with people who are taking advantage of him and using him. But that's not going to happen anymore. So we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm trying to think how much, how much do we have left here? Let me take a look. Since I'm keeping everybody waiting for, as I blab, blab, blab on forever see about how many more videos can we expect from Adata's route? Wow, I would say maybe just two. Actually. Three at the most. So, we are so close. We're gonna make it before the end of the year. So, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. And um, I hope to see you back next time. So, yeah, please be sure to check it out because we are so close now. Um, thanks for watching as always, and I will see you next time.